Kate, we're here with Jim Clark, owner of JLS Mailing Services in Brockton. What can you tell us about what's going on here with the museum? Oh, sure. Well, the company was founded in 1918 by Elizabeth Joyce Braddock. Mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to name our museum, is the Elizabeth Joyce Braddock Mail Museum. It's going to be a mail museum. A mail museum. Uh, what, what it, what's it going to be about and what's it going to be uh, documented here? Well, we think we're the only museum in the country that's uh, archiving old mailing equipment, mm -hmm. equipment that was used in the industry. Up until about 1980, everything was done mostly mechanically. When the computers came in, uh, all this our technology was being tossed, and I decided as a hobby to start collecting it. So would you like to see a few pieces? Yeah, you, so you have a pretty big collection of different antique mailing devices here. What can you show us? Well, this is a very interesting piece. This is a robotype. Robotype. And, yeah, and it works the same principle as a player piano with the pneumatics and the holes punched into these uh, sheets. Mm -hmm. And as the roll would roll through, it would, instead of pulling down keys of a piano, pull down keys of a typewriter. Wow. An operator would, would operate about five of these, and you could actually personalize a letter, but you did have to stop the machine and type in the person's name, Bob, Jim, hit the go button and the rest of the letter would be typed. So how long ago was this technology used? This, this was back into the 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find a typewriter to match the vintage of the base. So this, we actually did get this working, um, but this was technology back in 20s. So somebody uh, was operating these, I, I forget how many characters a, a minute would go, but pretty fast. Faster, probably five times, 10 times faster than a human could type and they would operate five of these. So they were mass producing letters back then, and I, I was told they were charging about a dollar a letter. Uh, so that was a significant um, uh, uh, business opportunity for whoever invented this. But this um, stopped being used probably in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Of course, again, computers came in and made life a lot easier for everybody. So you have a variety of different antique mailing machinery here. Can you show us maybe one more thing? Sure. We... Um, this is an addressograph. Addressograph. Right. So this this was the, uh, this would make plates like this. Your name and address would go on to a plate like this. This was your mailing list. So depending on who you want to mail to, you'd create these file drawers of, of mailing addresses. Mm -hmm. And then you would put them in this so you can see the magazine, this, this is your mailing list, you put it in this the addressograph, list, the addressograph right? And the, the plates would be lined up, come out, and you'd have to take an envelope and stick it in here. And it would be a, a, a hard impression, like the old credit card slide um, impression makers. And so, uh, you, you don't get your fingers stuck in there. So these are just a few of the antique uh, mailing devices you have here that are yep. part of the uh, mail museum that is now being put together. So uh, when might people be able to come view this? Well, we're, we're uh, hoping in about maybe six to eight months All right. we'll have this. Uh, um, it's still a work in progress. Yep. As you can see, we have lots of different types of machinery from all different eras. Anything else you could say about the history of, you know, mail services and how far back does it go and, you know, how society has progressed with well, this technology? Well, the uh, Elizabeth Joyce Braddock started by selling hay, her father's hay, uh, mass, mass uh, mailings, and she sold it in record time, and that's what prompted her to get into the business. Mailing is still viable. There's still a lot of people using it. We actually uh, did a recruitment mailing uh, that was very successful. Um, we sent out a, a letter uh, looking for an, for an accounting position, so we, we use mail ourselves personally, but mail is uh, still a very viable, uh, important part of our way we communicate. How many people open up emails these days that are unsolicited, but most people still go to the mailbox. All right, All right. Jim Clark, owner of JLS Mailing Services here in Brockton. Thank, Thank you very you. much.